Hello there, it's Wayne Robson here. Now I wonder how many of you have been sitting at one time or another in Mudbox and you've been texturing away and thinking, you know, if only I had the brush from inside a Photoshop that I use a lot, which could be, I won't say, whatever, doesn't matter what it is. And you think, well, I export it and convert it and import and play around with it. But basically, if you've got a lot of brush sets that you really want to use, it's always going to be a pain in the backside. Not anymore. Um, Dave Proud and I had a little bit of a conversation this afternoon. And what we've made is a pipeline that at the moment involves two things. One is this little script here, and a little action that we'll make available. You'll want to load this into Photoshop, so open your Actions panel, Alt F9, or from the Windows menu. Go down, go Load Actions, and pick the file. I'll probably stick it as a WinZip file or a WinRAR file, so you will need to extract it somewhere safe. You can also put it inside the Actions folder um, inside of the file system in Photoshop as well. Okay. Now, you're going to have to go online. I've got to pick the right one of these here. <laughs> and download something called ABR Viewer. Just go into Google, type ABR Viewer. The first link is the right one. Download it. It'll take the source forge, extract it. This is what you'll see. So what you do is click on that, you get this. All it does is view brushes. All right, Photoshop brushes. I've been using this for years um, just to find a brush set that I want. I think you use these are just the ones I've got in the machine. So you double click one that you want to look at. And you see, that's the brushes there. So say that really wouldn't be too bothered about these ones here. But these ones here, we might think, well they'd make really good texturing brushes for skin. Okay. What you do is right click down here where it says previewed sets. Okay. You could actually have, say we want, um, let's have a look, see what, then one there. We'll jump, See that's a little, little lot as well. And we can right click on any one of these and export thumbnails, right? Do it with the first one. Export. And I've picked a folder. I've called it ABR. There you go. That's them all in there now. Alright? We don't need this anymore. We don't need that folder open anymore. So there you go. There's the ABR folder. Now we need to go back to Photoshop because at the moment those images are in the wrong format for Mudbox to understand. Mudbox understands the white in a black and white image. Or in this case, if we try and open one up, these are some of the ones and um, have already converted. You see here's one there that hasn't been converted yet. Yeah, so it's got a basically an alpha channel um, and black. That's the areas we want, but it needs to be white. You go and basically Invert it all like that, but if you've got hundreds of brush sets or gigs worth like I have I've collected over the years, it's going to be a bit of a pain. So, here's what you do we import the Wayne Mud action file. Make sure it's highlighted, you've got all your checkboxes selected. Go down to File, Automate, Batch. This top one, drop it down to Wayne Mud box. Okay, and it inverts, the action is Mud Invert, inverts everything we need to do. Now I've already picked the folders, they're coming from that folder that we've just exported the thumbnails to, and this is where they're going, ABR2, okay? You press OK, and you sit back, and you wait a little while. This is a small brush set, so it doesn't take very long. And there you go, that's that done. We can close Photoshop now. And here is our... ABR files, there's ABR2, lovely, it's converting them all over. If we want to view these and use them inside of here, there's some other ones I've been working on, in case you're wondering, I've clicked, turned loads of them all up. Here's our ABR folder, you'll see, got loads of them, yeah? All the white areas are the ones we need. So let's say we wanted this one, we pick a brush, just pick my pen tablet up, we'll go on spray stroke, get it sized down a bit. You have to excuse the blue thingy because uh, you know in the centre there on the curse because Vista's having a hissy fit tonight. And we'll just make that active, okay? And then we've got there you go. Photoshop brush. 
inside of my box. Of course, it doesn't stop there. The fun gets better. So we can create a new texture. Go to Paint Tools. We could say, let's use the airbrush. Go back over here. Take the same brush. Better still, we'll use that one over here. Okay, Use this one here. And then, pick a colour. Any colour. See it's red because you can see it better. And there you go. Put the randomise on it. If I undo that. Spread them about a bit. It would help. And there you go. Change your colour. Change your brush. Do it all over again. And there you go. Photoshop brushes. Every single one of them you own. All in my box. One thing I do want to say is there is a limitation to this so far. And that is, firstly, if your brush is not a square shape like this one. Right, if I show you, if I load this one up, right. You'll notice it stretches it. Okay, bear that in mind. Also, if it is a absolutely huge size brush, um, way bigger than you would need, then it, you'll be able to use it, but it'll take on your first stroke, the very start, it'll start to cache it. Right? So if this was a large one, um, and I change the colour to blue, the first stroke would take a little while to cache, and after that, the rest of the time, it work fine. Um, and that's the workflow. Now, as you know, they're uh, Mudbox guys. I'm always looking at new ways to optimise workflows in the programme. So you never know, eh? Maybe something like this will... Nah, that would be daft, wouldn't it? See you all next time. Bye-bye.